Hi gorgeous people, welcome back. You're with Amira and this is your coffee cup reading. It's a timeless reading. It can go out for a, a month, a week, six months. So let's have a look at the cup and see what's in the cup, everyone. And we're also going to do the saucer. The saucer is where you are, where you're living, your family of origin, what's going on around you in the house or in the home. If you do see something in the cup, you're most welcome to do a shout out and I'll interpret it just for you. Could be a special message just for you. Okay, so here we have a, something here that looks a little bit like a candle, a genie, uh, like a genie lamp. A genie is a lamp, a genie in a bottle. So it could be that you're making a wish or a wish is coming true around you very soon. Underneath that we have something to me that looks like a kangaroo or the symbol for Qantas Airlines. So some of you might be flying, some of you might be having something to do with Australia or meeting some sort of... Um, types of kangaroos or Australia or Australian people in some way. I've got a couple of hills up here, so overcoming a couple of obstacles is imminent also. Oh, we've got a really nice face here of a, um, a goat. So there's a Capricorn influence here, very, very strong. Could also be a sheep as well, sheep in the Chinese horoscope. And he's wearing something that looks a little bit like a a stitching or some sort of brace or something that's covering up his kind of stra uh, covering up his torso strapped in so it looks to me like this Capricorn could be holding back from something being strapped in you might be feeling there's somebody around you who is a Capricorn who could be quite restricted or restrictive or is holding back from something I also see inside uh, this formation here a ship so I do feel like there is a journey that's coming up for you that's imminent. I also see a sea lion down here as well. So I feel like there's going to be something to do with uh, having more fun, frolicking in the sea, having um, enough bounty, enough catch, enough friends, etc. The sea lions often like to communicate, socialize, integrate with each other and have a really, really nice time. And... This shape here looks a little bit like a bridal dress. So some of you will have news of a marriage or be getting married. That's coming up as well. I'm seeing here a vague face of a man who is putting his hand up to his mouth. It's very difficult to see it on camera because it's kind of like a, a transparency like a, a very very light outline it looks like he's put a, his hand up to his face so somebody's not saying something when they should be saying something or they could be saying something and i feel it's a man we've got three dots here three islands islands in the sun is what's coming up we've also got a fish jumping out so there could be some money coming from a backwards motion something that you've put into practice or put into motion from the past coming back to you it could be an investment could be money coming back to you that is owed to you as well we've got a chicken here so chickens bear eggs some of you might be getting chickens you might be deciding to get chickens there could be gossip going on around you as well there could be too much talk and not enough action there could be you know laying the golden egg laying some brilliant idea having some amazing idea coming up that you are going to implement there. Okay, so let's have a look at the saucer. Okay. There's like a beautiful owl here in the middle. So there's an, an air of wisdom coming in around the home. Could be somebody in spirit sending you wisdom messages or you just getting downloads from spirit to do with wisdom in and around the home. We've got a half moon here or a, moon, or a sun that's just covered by a moon or covered by something, sort of like a half moon. So I feel like in a couple of weeks, which will be the half moon, uh, something coming up or, or coming into full circle or fruition. I've also got a lady here. She's got very long legs. She's got a beautiful dress on. I think it's floral or it's ruched. 
of some description she could have shoulder pads on as well she looks like she's got dark hair to the shoulders it could be curly she's very well dressed she's slim she's got a very nice figure she looks like a model or an actress or somebody who is mature but they're very beautiful it could be a mother mother figure somebody coming into your life or in the home who represents this person there's also it could be you there's also a beautiful child's face here looking at this um, mother figure beautiful child's face with dark hair and fairish skin they could have a ponytail there's also something lingering around this mother i think she might have lost a child or there's a child around her in spirit that she wished to have or there's some sort of spirit around her i also got a bit of a spirit feeling with this owl here as well so there could be a spirit feeling in the house or you feel like the house has got some spirits in it there's also another figure here, it could be male or female. It looks like a female with a hat, it could be an older lady and she's extending like a really big arm. So she's trying to reach somebody or something in the house. So if she's in spirit, she could be trying to reach out, show you the way, show you the light. It could be protection from her from spirit as well. Uh, a lady who used to wear a hat and the hat could have had also some sort of band on it. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. Uh, flowers or a band on it but I feel like she's very much in spirit and she's very much uh, a protective energy there's a figure here it looks like an animal I can't quite work out it could be a rat um, it could be somebody is trying to save money in the house or they're, they're trying to have babies or they're trying to make progress uh, rats are family animals and they often congregate together could also be literally that there is a rat amongst you somebody is ratting you out or not being honest or deceiving you but I do feel like this is an action some sort of action this particular symbol here is in motion it's like they're really trying to move forward and keep things moving so it could be also exercise trying to exercise trying to be more disciplined around exercise also underneath I get an octopus as well that just popped out. Sometimes these things morph into other things. I got an octopus so I feel like there's a lot of options and choices here. You might also be feeling like you're being swallowed up by something or swallowed up by an octopus or a situation or being engulfed by something. There could be a sense of engulfment or feeling like you're being engulfed by a situation, person, place or thing or overwhelmed okay could be also that you're branching out into other things with the octopus you could be uh, seeking a new way seeking a new uh, situation branching into unknown territory having about eight different choices and options let's do a wish for the co collective with a thumbprint wishing you success luck prosperity happiness good health moving forward love energy and we'll see if there's anything under this uh, imprint. I see two people dancing. So I feel like there, there will be a celebration coming up. It could be a, literally a dance, a wedding, a congregation, some sort of rejoicement, some sort of celebration, merriment in some way. So I do feel like coming up on the radar, this could be three to six months out, there will be a very nice celebration coming up and you'll remember this cup and you'll, you'll, you'll think back and say, yes, I do remember that and it is valid. So I wish you all the best, everybody. Lots of love and angel blessings moving forward. Until my next live stream on my next coffee cup, lots of love and blessings. Ciao for now.